Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy James, please. Good. Back with Pokemon Part 2 with our beloved Bulbasaur. <coughs> I'm a little bit sick, so you might be hearing that. And now we got Mr. Fucking Teachy TV, or whatever his goddamn name is, a stupid bitch. This is, a, this is by far the most boring part in any Pokemon game that has ever been available by any single person in the entire world. And, um, I just, I don't know what else to say, I fast forwarded it, and it's still the most boring shit ever. Alright, so we finally got into a new route, and we're about to be go into the, oh shit, I can't remember what it's called, oh well, get the battle here, oh, a little Pidgey, a little fire, a little fire Pidgey, pretty much just gonna run away from every, uh, wild battle, because I don't see much point, but I'll do all the trainer battles. Right, let's go. Came here with some friends to catch bu bug Pokemon. This who actually catches bug Pokemon, especially in these games, they suck like so hard. Get used to seeing that because there's so many Weedles in here. I am gonna start training so I can get to level ten before I do the Gary battle because I kind of have to be. Otherwise I'll probably get killed by it, because he's got the Charmander, which I think will be around level 10. And when it's around level 10, and if I'm level 10, then I will get killed, because obviously it's strong to me. Anyway, I go with a bunch of Metapods, and you know, you know how to train for this kind of crap. You gotta put in the hard yards to get the levels. <laughs> that experience bug would not be close to the leveling up. Tackle, 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 tackle. So fun in the early game. At least I got Leech Suit, I guess, so. If I do get hurt from a Weedle or something, I can use that with Unknown Metapod and just get all my health back. Which is good. Let's see what's. Oh, just about to get the item and get a stupid Weedle again. 29 experience! Pokeball, yes. A Pokeball that actually looks like a Pokeball, so. I guess if that was your first item to get, you might think they all look like Pokeballs. Like, they look like the item, but they just do not. Caterpie, I think that's the first time we got a Caterpie. 22 experience, that one. That's weird. I always found it weird that every single tree on the outside looks exactly the same. Another Caterpie. String Shot. One of the most annoying moves in the game. It just doesn't even do anything. I just hate the way it looks. Especially in the anime when they just like shoot the what looks like jizz out of their mouth right onto the other Pokemon. And we get to level 9, so one level away. That's good, good times. Walking into a tree like a neb. I'm not sure if that's a trainer. No, it's not a trainer. I always thought it was because he's looking like a trainer would actually like. And we get a potion there, which is pretty good, I guess. They always use potions in the early game. Kakuna. I've always been a Beedrill over Butterfree type of gear, especially now it's got the Mega Revolve form. I still got, I've never played those games, I still have to. So I haven't got a 3DS, so. and they don't make an emulator for a 3DS, so that's super annoying. I've never actually used bubbles or either, I don't think. Pretty much pick the water type in every single starter. Another Weedle, love and life. This is a bit boring, I'm afraid. But once we get to level 10, it'll spice up a bit. I was throwing Pokeballs and ran out. Well, why don't you go to the mart, you stupid human? We get the battle? Yeah, let's go for our first trainer battle. Bug catcher, Willy. Or Billy, I didn't say. Oh, Poison Sting. One of the most, another most annoying moves. Pretty much Poison String and String Shot are the moves you get in here, and the, some of them are annoying as well, especially if it didn't in this, I'm pretty sure, but if it poisons you during the fight, it's unbelievably annoying. So in, in this one, your Pokemon actually die from being poisoned in you if you're running around, but they don't in other games anymore, which is good. They just survive on one health, so at least you can revive them, but it was annoying when you had to use a revive if you were like out in a route. Which is unbelievably annoying. Don't know why I went for a growl there. Ah, oh, because the late shade was going to kill him anyway. And I just wanted to get the health. $72! Dollars. 
I wonder what the exchange rate for Pokemon dollars versus like where I'm from Australian dollars. Surely, like seventy-two dollars is like five dollars local. Otherwise, that guy is rich, and every single trainer on like the whole game is just rich as hell. It's actually nice life with those. <coughs> Uh, like hills that you can't go up them but you can go down surely it's just like a 10 centimeter high ledge you can just climb up almost jumped over them the gym's locked we will know who is in that gym the team rocket like boss leader Giovanni who I don't know how crime bosses become that but I'm pretty sure I went over that in the last episode pack to see Nurse Joy the sick bitch who wants her Pokemon to die Yes, I want to get into full health, hurry up. Restored your Pokemon to full health, yeah! <laughs> Alright, let's go versus that bitch Gary, shall we? Oh my god, I wish I had running boots. I still don't know where I get them from. I've played this game like a hundred times. It's actually a decent starter Pokemon if you want to find it in here. It's Mankey. I used it in my last playthrough. It's a good Pokemon to get early as well. And Primate is a pretty decent Pokemon. And it's one of the few fighting types I actually like. Because I've never... When I was younger I could never trade. So I couldn't get him a champ. Anyway, time to verse Gary. Yeah, well Pidgey's only level 9. I thought it would be level 10. Sand attack, another one of the most annoying early game moves. Especially when you just continuously miss and miss and miss. That's the good thing about a move like Aerial Ice. Well, it just won't miss. I always like to have Aerial Ice on at least one of my Pokemon. Oh, it's Charmander's only level 9 as well. I thought they, that he'd be level 10. You know, it's kind of more of an even number. So if he's only level 9, he probably doesn't have a fire move yet. Because we got our grass move at level 10. Which was obviously Vine Whip. I don't know. Yeah, I did use Vine Whip. Yeah, it's not very effective, which is annoying, because it's probably the one decent move you have at the moment. 124 experience, that's pretty nice. And 144 dong. That's what you want. Yeah, run away. I love how if you, even if you go right after him, sprinting at full speed, you'll never catch him, never see him again. Gary and every other, like, person that runs away from you can teleport, which is weird. It's the Pokemon League, so we'll probably finish our journey, because we'll obviously be the best trainer in the world, so... That's gonna happen. Oh my god. I got in. Oh yeah, this Mankey. In case you're wondering what it'll look like if you're the only human on Earth that's never played this game. Yeah, I always like Mankey. Oh, we got stuck again. Back to the Pokemon Center. I wonder if these people are paid to just populate the Pokemon Center. Whether they actually have lives and houses to go back to. Because there's like 10 people in this village and there's maybe two houses. So surely five people don't live in those two houses, but you never know, I guess. It's the wonder of Pokemon. I've accidentally cut out the routes on the top corner and I don't know why. Pretty sure one of the girls in here, or someone will eventually go in there, that you can uh, get your Pokedex from or whatever and tell how many Pokemon you have in the Pokedex and it'll like, give you a prize. Yep. No, I thought the XP share. I thought it was the XP share. It could be, but I don't think it is. Time for another trainer battle. What's this guy? Oh, Weedle. First time we've seen one of those. Oh, yeah, level 12. Another way to well, level 7, oh my god. We're almost double their levels at this point. Critical hit. Nice. Kakuna. I don't even know how like he's supposed to like save that for his last Pokemon. Doesn't even have a move. At least I can use Leech Seed and get some health back. It's a good thing about fighting in here, I guess, that they just don't attack, so you can just recover your health. Who 
you should have nicknamed his Cocoon and Penis. And then your penis could have used Harden. LOL. I don't think I've ever read all of those trainer tips. Antidote. That'd be good if you get poison from a poison sting. And you don't have to go all the way back. I think I actually missed this trainer by accident. Yeah. I intentionally went up there to go see him and I accidentally missed him. Alright, so we're getting just to the end of the forest. Just a few little bits left. Oh, wild battle. Caterpie. Goddamn Caterpie. I'm pretty sure I just run from all the rest of them now because I don't have to, uh, like, fight them because I already got to the level I wanted to in this episode. Sweet as Weedle. I wonder if anyone actually gets those and thinks they're going to be awesome Pokemon. There's some, po some Pokemon you can get right at the beginning that are awesome. Like Shinx, obviously. Rolls and Deluxe Ray. That's really the only one I can think of. Mankey, I guess, is pretty good, like I said before. There's probably a few other ones I'm just forgetting. But who on earth would get a Caterpie or a Weedle and think, Oh, this is going to be an awesome Pokemon, I guess. Yeah. Oh, still fighting Metapods. 51 experience is pretty good for like not doing anything. Alright, and what I'm doing now is actually looking for our next uh, Pokemon to add to our party. Can anyone guess what it is in the comments? If anyone does, I will send you a penny. It's probably pretty easy to guess though, because it's the only Pokemon that you just don't find in here. Alright guys, this is coming to pretty much the end of the episode now. It's been your boy James, and next time I will show you who our new team member is, and we'll get going with the next, and we'll probably have our first gym battle. So thanks very much for your time, and peace!